is Daryl Nicholson reporting for Practical Sailor magazine at the Miami Boat Show. We're seeing a lot of alternative energy products here. Uh, one of them is the Super Wind wind generator, one of several wind generators we tested in 2007. There's been some significant changes to this wind generator, and here to talk to us about them is Mark Detmer. One of the reasons this made Practical Sailors best of the rest in 2007 was because, you know, we have the, the self-feathering uh, mechanism in our blades. This unit is, is a commercial unit, unlike a lot of other wind turbines in the industry. And, you know, we pay attention to the things that our commercial customers as well as our marine customers need. You know, whether it's RF gain dampening in the, in the back end as we convert AC to DC, or whether it's, uh, you know, durable things that are going to survive saltwater conditions out at sea, it's really important to us to listen to our customers and get it right. One of the things that our customers asked us about was, no, micro wind turbines are notoriously noisy. They shake, they vibrate. We have eliminated a lot of that with balancing our hub and having long carbon fiber blades that are balanced both for pitch deflection as well as the, the, the weight of each one of them. One of the, the new things that is, was very important to our clients was the noise that micro wind turbines were historically known for. We were already, as your test proved, one of the quietest in the industries, but we had commercial clients that were looking for it to be quieter yet, and of course the sailboat uh, industry and folks that live aboard boats want this as quiet as it can be, especially at night when they're sleeping. What we did is we invested a lot of, uh, of money and tests into creating what uh, a turbulator type of system in our blades. The trip area is what makes the blade go around, and by adding this new feature to our blades, we've been able to decrease the, the decibels from around 20 down to around 10. Wind works where you have wind, and, and that's one of the things that we try to get across to our customers. If you're in an area like St. Pete and there's just not enough wind, a wind turbine doesn't make sense for your boat. But if you're down in the Caribbean, you can expect you know, 8, 10, 15 amp hours an hour, 24 seven, as long as the wind is blowing. And in the trades, that's a good wind area. Up in Nova Scotia, you know, so you have to pay attention to where you're gonna be using a product like this. And the reason is, is these aren't cheap. This is a commercial wind turbine. It's meant to have a long, long life, and you're looking at about $22.99, including the charge controller, the dump load resistor uh, bank, the safety switch, the turbine itself. And by the time you put on an aluminum or a stainless steel mast, you're probably in the area of about $2,800 to $3,000 with installation. So you have to pay attention. Do you have the wind to make it make sense? If you do, it's a great tool. If you don't, you might want to consider another option. You can find out more at, at www.superwind.com. Thank you.